Hey guys, this is Mike Blackburn with Add-ons. Uh, I'm popping in here today to show you guys how to build a line item or an upgrade. So these are going to be offerings that are made public at time of checkout, upsells, red carpet, videographer, bottle of champagne, should your laws allow it, you know, or even optional gratuity. Um, you can apply these to certain vehicles, certain rates, uh, we've got a lot of operators that do store stops, anything you can think of, a bike fee, extra luggage fees. So get creative with it. If you don't offer it, they won't buy it, and you're missed out on money. So we're going to pop in here right into rate management, and then we're going to go to line items to start. We're going to begin by hitting an add new line item. and We're going to call it whatever fee name you want to call it. So let's start out with... 18% gratuity. So this is our choice in between a percentage and a dollar amount. Since it's an 18% gratuity, we're going to label it 18%. We are going to make it public. This means that it's going to be optional and viewable by the public. Our public title on here is going to be 18% gratuity. Now we can add a description should you want to. And we have an optional minimum and our maximum price here. Um, since we don't want to have a maximum on this, you know, you can put in whatever you want. Um, minimum and maximum public units. So you do need to have something in here. If it's a bottle of champagne, for example, you want to limit that at 10. You want this started out at zero and limited at 10. But since they're not giving 10 units of 18%, with this, we're only giving them a yes or no checkbox, and we're going to make maximum one. Here, we're going to choose a public image. This is just going to be a logo, so you can grab something off the internet, um, throw it on here, and you can list the order where it's going to appear. Obviously, if you're going to do one for 18% gratuity, you want that one. Next one's going to be 20% gratuity. It should be in two. 25% gratuity, number three. So that is all we need to do to, to create a right item, a line item. Now we're going to go back and edit it. So this is where you're going to choose what rate sheets it'll appear on, you know, and what zones it'll appear on. So for example, you might not want to offer a red carpet rollout or a balloon package on a sedan, but you want to offer it on your party bus and your stretch limo. So you would uncheck whichever ones you don't want it to be exposed for. Uh, since this is gratuity, we're going to offer it on everything we have here. So we're going to update our line item, and that is all you need to do. And this is going to be offered at time of checkout now after they agree to the price. The last step in this is rate mapping. And you, anytime you add a new rate type or a new line item, you need to make sure that you map that properly to the right rate field. Otherwise, we're not going to inject it into Limo anywhere. So over here, we're going to scroll all the way down to our bottom here, custom line items. That's 18% gratuity. We always want to push this into a fixed rate type in Limo Anywhere. And now once that 18% gratuity is uh, selected, we're going to inject it into the extra grat rate in, uh, in Limo Anywhere in the trip. So again, you can do the same thing with anything you want. If it's a, a, a yes or no option, it's going to be zero public minimum units, one public mass maximum unit. If you want to offer a quantity like bottles of dumb and you want to order, offer them 20, this would be 20 and this would be zero. That way they have an option on how many to select. So that is it, short and sweet. Add to your profits and let us know if you need 